Hey guys, welcome back to the Kubernetes series. We have learned that deployments and replica sets are used to ensure that a certain number of pods are always running. These pods may run on different nodes based on the affinity that we give. But in some cases, we need to perform a specific task on every node in the cluster such as collecting logs or metrics for each node. In such cases, using deployments or replica sets does not guarantee that the pod runs on every single node as nodes may get added to the cluster dynamically. In this chapter, we will be learning how to perform node specific tasks such as collecting logs and metrics by running a pod on all the nodes in the cluster using daemon sets with complete hands on. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's say we have a Kubernetes cluster with multiple nodes. How do we monitor these nodes to see if they are running out of memory or if the CPU is being used to the full? We must run some agent on each node so that it can collect the metrics from each node and save them to some storage so that we can monitor them. But how will we make sure these agents run on every node of the cluster as these nodes are added to the cluster dynamically? One option is using deployment or replica set with appropriate affinity. But when a new node is added, a deployment cannot run the pod on the newly added node automatically. We have to increase the replica count and reapply the changes which involves manual intervention. That's where daemon sets come into the picture. With daemon sets, we can run a pod on each node of the cluster. If a new node is added to the cluster, a new pod will be spun up on the newly added node. And if the node is removed from the cluster, the pod running on that node will be garbage collected. Therefore, with the daemon set, we make sure that a pod runs on each node always. The key difference between a daemon set and deployment is that daemon set ensures that there is one pod per node, whereas Deployment or replica set can have multiple replicas per node. Generally, we use deployment for stateless services like frontends and backends, where scaling up and down the number of replicas and rolling out updates are more important. And we use daemon sets when a copy of a pod must always run on all or certain nodes to run cluster level tasks. Let us see some typical use cases of daemon sets. Daemon sets are commonly used for deploying logging agents like FluentD or Logstash on every node in the Kubernetes cluster. This ensures that logs are collected from all the nodes and centralized in a single location for analysis. Daemon sets are also used for deploying monitoring agents like Prometheus or Datadog on every node in the Kubernetes cluster. This ensures that metrics are collected from all the nodes and centralized in a single location for analysis. Daemon sets can also be used for deploying network agents like Cilium or WeaveNet on every node in the Kubernetes cluster. This ensures that network policies are enforced on all the nodes. Enough of theory. Let's see one of these use cases in action. To understand daemon set practically, let's run Prometheus node exporter on every node in our Minikube cluster. If you don't know what Prometheus node exporter is, it is a widely used daemon for collecting hardware and operating system metrics from Linux nodes in the Kubernetes cluster. Let's go to VS Code and create a simple daemon set. This is the simple daemon set. Let's see what we are doing here. This is the API version for the daemon set. We can get this with kubectl API resources grep daemon set. As you can see, this is the API version, this is the short name for the daemon set and this is the kind. So let's go to VS Code and confirm that API version and kind are correct. And this is the name of the daemon set that we are giving and under the spec, we are giving the match labels which are used by the daemon set if the pods on the node are already running or not. And these are the pod labels the daemon set gives to the pods. And under the template spec, we can give the node selector or the node affinity to instruct daemon set to run the pods on only specific nodes. This is very helpful if you want to monitor only a specific team nodes. 
and here we are giving the containers just like we gave in the deployment and this is the prometheus node exporter image and these are the arguments that we are passing and this is the container port and please note that we are mounting these two volumes procfs and sysfs are two virtual file systems in linux that allow users and programs to interact with the kernel and access various system information in a convenient way both these virtual file systems are read only and the information they provide is generated dynamically by the kernel when accessed because we need system level metrics we need to mount these two folders to our container as these folders are present in every node we are giving this as host path please refer to the kubernetes volumes chapter of this series for a detailed explanation of how volumes work in kubernetes so let's apply this manifest kubectl apply ifn f daemon set dot yaml as you can see the daemon set is created we can verify that with kubectl get ds ds is the short name for the daemon sets so this is the daemon sets that we created so our expectation is that this daemon set should create the pods so let's get the pods kubectl get pods as you can see one pod is running this is because we have only one node in the kubernetes cluster we can verify that with kubectl get nodes as you can see we have only one node in our kubernetes cluster now let's try to add another node to our cluster with minikube node add we can verify that with kubectl get nodes now we have two nodes in our minikube cluster so now as per the definition of the daemon set a new pod should get automatically created on the newly added node we can verify that with kubectl get pods iphone o white to see on which node they are running enter as you can see we have two pods now and first pod is running on the first node and the second pod is running on the second node like this whenever a new node is added to the cluster a new pod will be created similarly if we try to delete any node the pod which is running on that node by the daemon set will be garbage collected we can see that in action let's try to delete the node kubectl delete node and node name mini cube iphone m02 so i'm deleting the second node now the node is deleted so now let's try to list on the pods kubectl get pods as you can see now we have only one pod running because we have only one node in the cluster now that we have monitoring pods running let's see if they are giving metrics by port forwarding these pods kubectl port forward pod name and these pods are running on 9100 port so let's go to the browser and access localhost colon 9100 slash metrics so these are the metrics that are given by our prometheus node exporter pod so this is the total memory available on the system and this is the total free memory available on the system this way all the node exporter pods created by daemon set pull all the telemetry that linux gives by default from every node if a new node is added daemon set runs the same pod on that new node and we get the metrics of that node as well we can give this metrics to prometheus to scrape which can be visualized in grafana stay tuned for a video on the prometheus and grafana when a kubernetes cluster is created the queue proxy daemon set is created by default we can verify that by listing the daemon sets in all namespaces so this is the queue proxy daemon set running in the queue system namespace we can verify if this daemon set is running the pods or not by listing the pods queue ctl get pods hyphen n queue system as you can see one queue proxy pod is running in the queue system namespace which is created by the queue proxy daemon set this queue proxy is a component of the kubernetes cluster responsible for implementing the kubernetes service abstraction queue proxy pod runs on every node and maintains network rules on each node to allow network communication to pods and services running on that node whenever we delete a daemon set all pods managed by it are automatically deleted we can verify that with kubectl get pods 
as you can see there are no pods running however if we don't want to delete the pods that are managed by daemon set we can give the cascade is equal to false while deleting the daemon sets this way whenever we delete the daemon sets the pods managed by the daemon sets will not be deleted that's it for this video i'm sure that you learned about kubernetes daemon sets their use cases and how to create and delete a daemon set in kubernetes if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below my name is pavanil tepu and i thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates